Good morning and welcome to Eyewitness News Daybreak. I'm Alexandra Johnson. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. It is August 24th and Jake and Ron, they are making their way to our first home team Friday pep rally of the season. They're going to be at Henderson County High School and we're going to check in with them in just a moment or so. Well, it is a big weekend for both high school football and car enthusiasts. Right now, hot rods from all over the country are rolling into the tri-state for the annual Frog Follies. And Joe Bird is live this morning at the Vandenberg County 4-H Center where the gates have just opened. And Joe, I can see some of those cars starting to roll in and, and hear those noises. What's going on out there? I tell you what, Alexandra, kind of hard to hear you from the Frog Follies this morning. I tell you, Bob, Noisy vehicles pulling in here, but excited. 44th one out here at the old 4-H Center. Yeah, we're here. We're ready. We're excited. Kind of nervous. No, what are you nervous about? People. Huh? What are you nervous about? Well, all these cars, <laughs> all these things going on. Everybody's... Hey, don't worry. The ambulance is here. If something happens, yeah. we'll take care of you. All right. All right. <laughs> He's always here. Yeah. All right, so the 44th year, or 44th at least, uh, event, annual event out here for the Frog Follies. I mean, is there anything new this year going on? There's always new things, additional things. It'd be a hard thing to actually to determine to talk about. You're getting paid, Bob. Yeah, <laughs> we got to let this guy get to work, but I tell you what, uh, if you want to come out here, the gates open at 8 o'clock. Yeah, they open at 6 o'clock for the cars here to start working their way in. Open at 8 o'clock today and tomorrow, 8 to 4, and then on Sunday, they open from 8, and then they close down at 2 o'clock. Now, admission is $5 a person to get in. Children under 12 are free. That is per person. That's not per vehicle. That is per person, $5. But, Bob, that $5 that you all collect, that's a big deal because you all help out a lot of the local charities. Yeah. Basically, that's where all of our money goes is to the charities in Evansville area or the surrounding area, basically. Uh, Easter Seals being our number one. And we spend the money back to us, to, to them, to help people that are in need. And that's what we're all about. We're here with our cars to have fun, to enjoy ourselves, and have a beautiful day. Weather looks like it's going to be fantastic, thanks to you guys. Well, I do what I can for you, Bob. <laughs> I mean, I, I was like, hey, frog fog is coming. i got to get some cool weather in here. Yeah. Kind of need a jacket this morning. Right. Bob, I know you're busy. Your little radio keeps going off. That you, you, You're getting paid there. We'll catch up with you later on. But I tell you what, Alexandra, loving the frog follies. The smell of the fuel is in the air. Yeah, Joe, we love uh, when Frog Follies comes around each year, and I love seeing those cars roll in there this, uh, th at this early in the morning so people can check that out this weekend. Well, for the first time this year, our crew is heading to a tri-state high school to host our Home Team Friday pep rally. But first, Ron and Jake, of course, they're going to make a quick pit stop to get some food this morning. And Jake, it looks like you guys have some donuts, but are you planning to share those or just keep those for yourselves? Oh, Alexandra, you better believe it. We've got donuts, and, and we're sharing them, unfortunately. Ron, Ron's idea was to keep them all. Ron's got his coffee this morning. Ron, how you feeling? I, the 12 donuts aren't going to do me right now. I mean, if I'm <laughs> going to do the limbo later on today, I'm going to need at least 20 donuts. So the reason we're dressed like this and Ron's talking the limbo is because we're going to Henderson County High School. They take on the Evansville North Huskies this evening, yeah. and, and they decided for their pep rally to be a tropical theme. So Ron and I kind of had to get into the mood where... You kind of, you, these clothes came from your closet. You were prepared for this. Well, I've had this Hawaiian shirt, as you can probably tell, for about 10 years. So <laughs> it's, it's well worn, but yeah, it's still holding up pretty well. You know, but we've got some fresh stuff, too. I mean, these are fresh flowers, right, Jake? That yeah, we've got. <laughs> yeah, fresh, freshly made of like paper mache or plastic. Hey, yeah. so the cool thing is, Donut Bank, once again this year, right. is bringing a lot of donuts to each high school. I mean, look at these. We have 10 boxes of these going to Henderson County High School, and we're picking them up. We're hoping every one, there may be one or two missing, Alexandra, once we get to Henderson <laughs> County High for some fuel for us. But we have a lot planned today. We've got a few games. That's right. We have more donuts than these. We have some big, big we, we need three cars to fit all the donuts we're bringing over to Henderson County and High And Stacy May, wait till you see my cosmic hula hoop that I've got. It is gonna, <laughs> it's awesome. It's going to rock Henderson County High School. So we'll be there. We have a lot of games planned, a lot of fun as they take on Evansville North later this evening. We'll see you guys over at Henderson County High School in about 30 minutes or so. We'll see if Ron can uh, finish his coffee by then. Cheers. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this pep rally this morning and to seeing Ron do the hula hoop because, as we know, Stacy May is a hula hooping champion, as I'm sure she'll tell you later this morning. But before we get to the weather, let's take a look at your roads now this morning. The city of Evansville has scheduled some lane restrictions from the city's Twitter page. 
You can look for restrictions on eastbound Lloyd Expressway near Collin Avenue. Now, this is for in-dot installations of some traffic control devices. Due to the traffic shift, South Collin Avenue will be closed at the Lloyd, and traffic will be reduced to two lanes in the area for the next month or so. So just make sure that you use caution while driving through that work zone. And just another road restriction for Evansville drivers this morning. Due to the sewer replacement upgrades going on on South Burkhart Road between Lincoln Avenue and Williamsburg Drive, you can look for some lane restrictions there as well. Now, those restrictions should be in place for the next 10 days or so. At this time this morning, we have no accidents to report. That is your dashboard report. And Stacey May joins us now. Stacey, do you think Ron is challenging you? That's what I was going to contest? say. I was like, that sounded like a challenge. You know, Ron and I have done a hula hooping contest together one time, and I came out above him. I but, know that, that you're a champion, yes. but here's the thing. I don't yeah. know if you know, but Ron's hula hoop this morning, it's already broken. Oh, well. So we'll see how well so he does. So that's how he's going to play this. But now his limbo, he may have me on the limbo. He, he, yesterday on Lifestyles, he was already showing me his uh, moves on that. Those guys are going to have a great time out at Henderson County High School this morning. We can't wait to check back in with them. And also Joe uh, out at the Frog Follies. That's why I'm here in the Weather Center to keep you updated on the weather this morning. Look at these temperatures that you're starting off with on your Friday. Cool again, upper 50s to around 60 degrees. So it is feeling like September. September, but changes on the way for you. Clouds will increase today. You can see some rain up to the northwest of St. Louis. We get rain chances back here in the tri-state today. At least some scattered showers and thunder showers will try to move in from the northwest around midday. They'll push to the southeast through the afternoon, but they will gradually diminish as they do. Uh, and I think by this evening, we'll really see those rain chances go away. So for home team Friday and most of the football games this evening, we're looking okay and we're looking pretty dry. 79 is your high today, still not too humid this afternoon. Another chance for scattered thunder showers on your Saturday morning. Rest of your weekend is dry, just hot and very humid with highs in the upper 80s tomorrow, then low 90s on Sunday. That's where we stay early next week. And then we pick those rain chances back up again by next Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday. And I'll have a detailed look at the timing of your rain chances. And we'll also talk about Hurricane Lane uh, heading toward Hawaii, all coming up in a little bit. And continuing with weather this morning, it is rare for a hurricane to get too close to Hawaii. But right now, Hurricane Lane is dumping massive amounts of rain on the islands, putting lives and property right in harm's way. Candace Gibson brings us up to date on the storm's path and potential for destruction. Unreal, huh? More than 20 inches of rain already drenching parts of Hawaii as Hurricane Lane closes in. The downpours triggering landslides and flash flooding on the Big Island. You can see major flooding here in progress. The water is several feet deep out ahead of us. The powerful hurricane packing winds of up to 130 miles an hour. This morning, forecasters keeping a close watch on its track, saying it likely won't make landfall, but still could lash the islands with severe storm surge, another 20 inches of rain and damaging winds. ABC's Gio Benitez in Honolulu. We are here in Waikiki Beach. We are seeing these waves get bigger and bigger, and we just heard a lifeguard here on a megaphone saying to get out of the water because it's just too dangerous. There's a lot of uncertainty. What is for sure, though, is, is that uh, Hawaii is going to be impacted by Hurricane Lane. The question is how bad. People facing long lines and empty shelves at supermarkets as they make final preparations. We are scared. We are concerned about the storm. For some of the 300,000 tourists in Hawaii this morning, shelters are their only refuge. We were very afraid of the storm. And in France, we, we don't have storm like that. So we decided not to stay near uh, the beach and to, to go to the shelter. Candace Gibson, ABC News, New York. And a USI graduate is in Hawaii right now as Lane pounds the islands. Madeline Kriz was visiting her mom in Maui when they heard the hurricane could hit the island. They both tried to leave, but all of the flights were booked, leaving them no choice but to ride it out. Kriz says they are stocked up on groceries and water and have tied down loose items preparing for the high winds. We're at now. We've bunkered down. I think she can see it. We have plastic all over our stuff just to make sure it doesn't blow away. Madeline has a flight booked for Saturday night, but only the aftermath of the storm will determine if she will be able to leave the island then. Coming up, meteorologist Stacy May is back with your weekend weather authority forecast. It's 6-11 this morning.